Hello, this is the rotor carbon swivel mount from rotormount.com. Now, with this mount for GoPro and other action cams, you're going to get 360 degree view of whatever sport you're doing, as you can see in this video. Now, the rotor is patented and has been designed to be used with two GoPro cameras. Now, the rotor comes in two versions the consumer version and this carbon version. Now, both versions have the same rotor ball bearing part here as you can see both have two detachable poles which is great as it's going to be a lot easier to travel with uh, the real difference between the two versions is that the consumer version the pole is made of aluminium whereas the um, carbon version obviously this one is made from carbon fiber now included with the carbon version you get these two lightweight aluminium pole mounts for GoPro. So you don't have to buy these handlebar mounts from uh, GoPro. They're, they're included in the carbon version. Now, these aren't included with the consumer version, um, but if you do want them, they're sold separately from rotormount.com. And to be honest, these look better uh, and are a lot easier to use. Just put this on the camera like that and then screw that on and you, you're going to be able to easily take your camera on and off this without having to use all of these screws here as you know if you use these now the weight of the consumer version is just under 400 grams whereas the carbon version is a little lighter weighing in at 320 grams uh, in both versions the total pole length is 140 centimeters that's 55 inches whereas each single pole is around 69 centimeters, that's 27 inches. But all the info about the two versions I'll put on this side of the screen, so you can just check that out. Now, as I said earlier, this has been designed to be used with GoPros, and many people ask, can I use this with just one GoPro? Well, to get good footage with this, it's recommended that you use two cams. Now take a look at this video and imagine that you had video footage only from one cam. I mean you're going to lose half of this great video footage and it's going to be hard to edit with as well. Now also there's another problem that is that for the rotor to rotate correctly you need the same weight at each ends otherwise this will not rotate correctly. It needs to be balanced. Now I know that most people don't have two GoPros um, but you could just buy a second housing. If you don't want to spend a lot of money and buy another cam, you could just buy this housing. Buy a second housing, put a counterweight in here. I mean, like I've done here, just some coins that are the same weight as the GoPro. Put that in there, uh, put this on the other end of the pole, and then that way both ends will have the same weight on them. So that could be an option. But as I said, I don't recommend that you use just one cam because you, you're not going to have good video to, to edit with. Now, when you fix the adhesive mount uh, to your helmet, remember to fix it in a position that's center at the top. Now, when you're in a riding position, the center will move. So as it's on a flat surface, the center is here. When you're riding, the center is going to be further back because you will lean forward with your head. So the center is probably going to be here. Now this is important because the rotor to rotate correctly, as I said, has to be in a level position like that. So just remember that uh, when you're going to be putting this adhesive plate on. Now if you need any more help on how to set up the rotor, click this video tutorial uh, which explains everything you need to know on how to set this up. Now once you've fixed the adhesive plate, then all you've got to do is screw on the two parts, two poles. just like that. Put your GoPro on here, fix that on, and you're gonna get great videos like this.
This is the rotor carbon swivel mount from rotormount.com. Thanks very much for watching. Bye bye.